Hey what's up guys this is Akshay and in this video I am sharing what's on my Linux laptop and what's on my Android smartphone, the apps and services that I use on my daily basis to enhance my productivity so that you can follow along use those apps to make your life simpler. So let's start shall we? Hey what's up guys this is Akshay and welcome to a new video probably after the launch video and the tech tip so this is all about the apps and services that I'm using on my laptop as well as on my phone. Now let's start with the phone so this is the Mi E2 uh, which I bought last year and this is just an amazing phone like 128 gigs internal 4 gigs of RAM I guess 6 gigs of RAM yeah and Snapdragon 636. Uh, and also this is the Lenovo G50 which is a Core i5 5th gen model now with 8 gigs of RAM and 1 terabyte of hard drive also I have a new display so this is a very nice gorgeous matte display which I upgraded so video on the laptop upgrade is coming soon now as you can see it has custom wallpapers right here so we call this texture wallpapers and you can download in the link in the description which will take you to a download site and you can download these awesome wallpapers we also have some extra of them like this one you are worth it like nice cute some things you can try because why not so let's start so i created an article which i will link in the description right now i only have noted this on simple note let's start from the app choice so Notes app, Simple Note. This is the only thing that I use because Simple Note is also available on my phone as well as on my PC and it's password protected so no one can actually see my notes which is secured and it's cross-platform. So the theme of this video or the stuff that I use is cross-platform. So for example, even if I next year I upgrade to say another operating system, I'm going to be secured. So all these apps are going to work there as well. So what's on my tag? Starting with the notes app, which is the simple note. As you can see, all the notes are synced here. It has the uh, dark mode as well as uh, white mode as well. So if we go to file preferences, or maybe I think it's in the view. So note display, as you can see, condense expanded. And theme, you have light as well as dark, which is just amazing, right? I think white is more visible maybe to you because in camera I just this is how it works so and again cross platform right so simple note is my choice of app now for email actually I, I was using outlook but since I have moved away from windows which is like more than six months now video coming on that as well I switched to blue mail now blue mail is also again a cross platform mail app which is also available on your phone pc mac uh, whatever device you could have and you can have multiple accounts like I have set it here my text show account gmail account as well as a college account you can have uh, and it has amazing features like whatever you start here and all the start stuff will be right here same way goes to phone as well so if I like a mail I just would read my emails on my phone and if I like it I switch it to my PC as well which is just amazing how it gets now the another mail app which I'm using is called Zoho mail now the tech show email which is help at your tech show.com or info at the your tech show.com is based on Zoho and guess what Zoho also has a Linux desktop client so again cross-platform Windows Mac Linux Android it's all there and Zoho is like web mail app and it's pretty much similar to gmail but just limited with storage so we're gonna upgrade but next year maybe now other apps include the basic apps like you have youtube youtube music amazon prime 
Amazon Prime Video and Spotify. So YouTube now definitely YouTube Music and Prime Video is not officially available for Linux, but these are some kind of uh, tricks you can have. We call it Novola uh, app runtime. I will also leave the tutorial to this how to install on a Linux machine or you could just install on your Windows and Mac. I think on Windows also there is no YouTube official app available so you, can, you need to use a web app but luckily for Linux there is a client which you can use and also get YouTube music on my phone as well so cross platform for example uh, like songs is here as well and here as well so that's just an amazing continuity experience that you're getting and I like that now let's start with the more stuff and steam and discord uh like why you won't use it so i have steam now i was on windows i bought a lot of games but only these much games are available for linux i think i can sort it out so there you have it linux supported games half of my library and again in play uh, you have play store games and also have gta and I play GTA on my phone because I couldn't play on my Linux machine. There are some apps and services that are literally missing on, on my Linux computer. And I think after Google Stadia launch, every game is going to come on Linux. And I'm super excited for that because this is a heck of a stable machine right now. And I don't want to switch to Windows. Now, let's move to the other apps. So, music and video. Messenger again, Telegram and WhatsApp. Official client available. So, you can have Discord, uh, WhatsApp, Telegram. Uh, now I don't use it daily I access it sometime so as you can see telegram but uh, it's there so you can just ask, access it now let's start with the learning and use so medium and Udemy so I use Udemy to learn a bunch of stuff including web development and I'm looking forward uh, to machine learning and AI so that's what I use Udemy so medium is also a widget on my phone as you can see so that I can uh, read articles so tech articles or non tech articles it's all there now let's start with the PC exclusive app and for that I will keep my phone aside for the time being and will just focus to the PC part so I will try to zoom a little bit and let's start so for video editor Kaden live uh, as you can see I have a shortcut set here so Kaden Live is my shortcut and this is a go to video editor. Now I like this because it's like free and super stable right now. It was very buggy at the beginning but now it's super stable. And uh, of course the Texture launch, the Texture 2020 video was surprisingly created on this video editor. So if I go to TTSMG workspace, uh, documents, 2020 video. 2020 Kaden Live and let's use placeholders okay this was a big project and I took literally more than five days to edit this but it was all built on Kaden Live and I was surprised how smooth it went because last year with the tech show 2019 launch it was very difficult to do, do it on Adobe Premiere Pro and it was very easy and we were able to create more animations, more mockups and stuff. Uh, now, of course, there was some mistakes that I did because, come on, I'm still new to Linux uh, and I get some time to get used to it. But as you can see, super stable timeline and everything built just right away. You can see the audio and everything is just awesome. And all the mockups and it's, it's super stable. Like You just saw how well it just went so Kaden Live my go to video editor uh, no I don't want to save uh, again for Photoshop is GIMP and surprisingly GIMP also supports Photoshop files so the last year to texture launch of PSD files were right supported to the GIMP or GNU image manipulation program absolutely love this piece and these apps are not available on mobile so that's why you use your computer for so as you can see super fast then come on there's so many apps running in background as you can see still super smooth and stable uh, you, basically it's like a photoshop only to my liking and more easy than photoshop and free come on uh, now some more let's let's open this 
simple note 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 simple note note uh, GIMP and Canva. Canva is an online platform which is cross platform. So, this all this wallpapers and logos are actually built on Canva. For recorder, I'm using OBS Studio and Audacity. Pretty basic stuff which is available again cross platform. Even I was using the uh, OBS Studio as well as uh, Audacity on my Windows computer. So, all the stuff is still there. You can see how fast it indexes. So that's there. Now documents it. Uh, this was a tough choice. Uh, I was an Office 365 user last year and I switched to LibreOffice, uh, which is a free client, but it just works good. So you have Google Docs support, you have WPS, LibreOffice. LibreOffice can also open all the document format, but can't save to .docs. So I'm using WPS in order to save .docs files. Now developer tools include Atom, GitHub, MailChimp, Google Cloud. Now, now GitHub and MailChimp is Chrome. Like I can just launch Chrome and go to the respects website. But I also have Atom, which is the text code text editor of my choice. So you can see Atom, a hackable text editor for 21st century. And there are some good features, like Git and GitHub control directly in the app. So it reminds me of VS Core because the color scheme is like that, but there you have it. Uh, now phone exclusive. So for that, I gotta switch to my phone. But before that, I would like to uh, show you how I keep my laptop. So now basically this is Linux, so we don't require reboots every time. And I don't shut down my computer. I just close the lid. I have any build go to hibernate when closed. As you can see, uh, now there are two lights, right? Now only one light will bring because it will go to the sleep mode. So as you can see, only one light is blinking. So this is how I keep my laptop all day long. It goes to sleep. And guess what? With Linux, the this mode can last up to three days. And still I open my laptop, I was able to browse web pages and there was still 3% of battery life left. So I charge so one and a half day once and it just runs smoothly and this was never happening on windows like on windows every four to five hour i need to charge my laptop even if i put it in hibernation mode like this it's not gonna last more than a day like even 70 percent of the day but now as you can see it went in sleep it can last up to three days and once i just open it and uh, it's there right away as you can see how fast it just came up from the sleep so let me enter the password which I'm going to hide for the moment. And there you go. Now I'm going to be right in my desktop. And that was a 40% battery life and so much of apps running in background. So I don't usually keep all this app running in background. I just keep one or two different stuff. That's it. So it runs super smooth, super fast, super reliable. Now let's move to the phone part. So there you have it. This is my Mi A2. As you can see, all these apps that I talked about is right here. Uh, I also have a calendar. So I use Google Calendar both on my PC and my phone. It's there. And I talked about the Medium. So you can just read all the Medium articles and stuff. Now basically I have the text stuff, but I think it's resetting and using the news feed. Uh, but as you can see, it's time to free your reading with the from Amazon. And you can just click and read it whenever you want. And Medium is a good source to get nice articles out there even some of my web developer projects are came from medium also i have this amazon music player widget which i use and some documents so now let's talk about the uh, android exclusive apps and services so subscriber count very nice adsense and this is the mailchimp widget it tells it how many subscribers we are having for the tech show newsletter so let's start with a simple note again, same app that I talked about. Now let's go to the phone exclusive part. Uh, now for the recorder I'm using is the open camera. I will show you it in a bit, it's in my home screen, as you can see. <clears throat> open camera. The reason I'm using this is because for the mic support. So my uh, mic which I bought, I don't recall the name. I think it was, no, no, I don't recall the name. But uh, for that I use it, so it can have 1080p. Uh, it can have image stabilization and a lot of cool stuff out there. So I'm using open camera and some some of the pro apps like the Voice Recorder Pro and Screen Recorder Pro. So let me show you the Voice Recorder Pro app. 
and these apps actually not literally purchased but from the free google play credit that you get uh, i got this up and running so this is a very nice and you can see all of our videos are recorded to my phone via the usb type c to audio jack with this voice recorder now uh, some remote control apps like the mi remote and the netgear genie so mi remote is just the eye control so you have the eye control here and you can utilize it to control your say air conditioner or your tv so i only have two steps here so i can just configure it also i have netgear genie which is my router which is amazing router definitely great investment um, as you can see you can manage stuff you can see how many devices are connected to the network so for example network map as you can see five devices connected right away so these are my apps and services that i use i will leave all this in the description below so these wallpapers these apps and services you can get on my on our website so that may be useful to you maybe you just change a note app or maybe a mail app now these app may change in the future but basically i have kept it so like so that i can upgrade to any device at time for example if i get a new pc and install linux on it all the apps going to work or even if I switch to a Mac, GIMP is available for the Mac, Simple Note is available for the Mac, uh, Zoho Mail is available for the Mac. Basically, almost all the apps are available for the Mac. So, like, some of them are not available. But there you have it. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. See you next time. Bye-bye now.